But tonight we'll probably make it between three and four thousand. Yo. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, I'm just calling to check you out, man. Yeah. Can you want to see something? I got you. What about a bonus if I bring a friend? Is it well? Yeah. I get, I get you on it. I've been in this like going on twelve years. I was banging like thirteen thousand a week, but then I would start betting, losing twenty thousand. I've been generating more than five million dollars in these past ten years, and don't have to show for it. I never worked in my life anyway, so what type of resume am I gonna have? It's like I'm trapped in a world that I can't escape. There's a game running in New York City, and some say 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's multi-billionaires sitting in certain games. There's drug addicts struggling to make 20 bucks playing in others. How much money is that, sir? I don't know. Not enough. I'm bad with numbers. <laughs> <laughs> ain't that bad. There's actual people that travel around. They call them grinders, and they go to all these different clubs, and they grind it out. Whales are people that are invited to these games that have a ton of money and don't know anything about poker. And they go and they spend sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars and they lose it all. If you're a player, technically by New York State law, players are not considered doing anything illegal. So right now we we in Brooklyn, we're gonna be a man named Chummy who used to run a very lucrative poker game. Uh, I respect. How's it going? I've been involved in this for about 15 years. Okay. You know, give or take. Yeah, I knew the owners here. I said, let me do a game in the basement. We worked out percentages. He said, do it. Let's take a look at the spot. Absolutely. So this is where the magic happened, huh? I mean, it looks pretty gritty down here. And the truth is, even back then, it was pretty gritty. <laughs> but uh, the most important thing is the money on the table. So it, it, guys will play anywhere. Is it just the thrill of, uh, of Winning, or is it the thrill of knowing that you can flip money really quick? All of it. All of it. All of it. And it is an ego thing, too. Uh, Gamblers have big egos. Uh, when you win, you feel like a yeah, genius. Yeah. You feel like a <laughs> genius when you win. It's on the flip side, when you lose, you hate yourself so much. There's no in between because a, a real degenerate gambler doesn't want to win a little. He either wants to win a lot or lose a lot. Most of these guys would rather lose a lot than win a little. You ever got robbed? This place never got robbed. Mm -hmm. uh, we kept it discreet enough. Some of the other places got robbed. What uh, was that like? I was dealing. There were 10 tables full. Mm -hmm. Two guys came in with guns, kicked the door open. Uh, like everyone on the floor, everyone empty, uh, you know, yeah. run your Yeah. Shit. Everyone run your shit, put it on the table. A bunch of guys put up jewelry, like that. They got the cage. I believe that night they got the cage for over 100. With all the players, you know, one guy was getting the cage while the other guy was going table to table. Everyone, you know, put the on the table. Sure, me, I was having a bad week that week and I was dealing. I needed my money. I had like maybe 500 on me. I took it out of my pocket. I put it in my drawers. Dig it. And then uh, I just threw my wallet on the table. I had $8 in my wallet. Guy, the guy actually looked at my wallet. He said, $8, mother yeah. <laughs> But he didn't, he didn't run my drawers enough. And no, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I left with $500 that night. Most of the time, it's an inside job. Right now, we are in Brooklyn. We're about to meet a couple of dudes that they rob poker games. Why do you only target illegal games? What is your main, what, what is the science behind that? They can't call police. Uh -huh. That's my favorite one. They can't call the cops, so it's between us. Yes, sir. And the money's there waiting for me to take it. What's the biggest lick you ever caught? It's so one game, one poker game. I'm just one of their cash. cash like 140. 140. Yeah. Yeah, so you split that between us two, the driver, and the person who put us on. Still, still a decent. I mean, for what? For, for five minutes of work? Yeah. Like, like, how do you how do you sort out the games that you think are easy prey? I mean, the reality is none of them are easy prey. It's all it's all, it's all a calculated move. You rob those spots, you gotta have an inside job. So whether it's the waitress, whether it's one of the bartenders, whether it's security guard. The last, so one we did, the, the last one we did, it was the security guard. And, and he let me know who was holding, who wasn't holding, how many people was there, and he told me how much paper would be there. So uh, when I went, I expected to see that much paper. I go see the spots, go to the spot out for about a week or two, just to get the layout. My roster leaves. How many games have you robbed? A few, a quite a few. I'm around about five. I robbed one around here some, some months ago. G-spot. Poke in the back, blackjack cards in the back. 
dice in the front. Mm-hmm. I go in there to shoot dice just to watch everything. Mm-hmm. And I seen the, the poker table with some money on there. How much money? Hood money, 40, 50 racks. Yes, sir. I'm coming for that. Yes, sir. I'm playing dice with three, four racks. I seen 40, 50 racks. I'm coming for that. I left. I went got a rusty six shot 38. And I came right back to shoot dice with no mask on. I went right in the back, I went back to grip out. Everybody give me everything. I'm putting everybody on the floor. No mask, no, I'm, I'm gonna shoot you. If you play with me wrong, I'm gonna shoot you. No mask me, I'm gonna you 50 grand. Have you shot someone of in, in London Robert? Of course. Shot him five times. Tried to start on that money. I got what I came for. And he got what he had coming to him. And uh, I walked out of there with a few 10 bands. But when it's between me and you, either you're going to die or I'm going to die. And I'm not going to die. For that paper, I'm not Jesus Christ off, man.